Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today, I am doing something very different, but it's not too different because I'm going to be creating Aurora on The Sims. Um, <laughs> so random, I know, but um, I'm not feeling very well today, so um, I was gonna play Sims anyway, and I just thought that this would be quite fun to make into a video. Um, <clears throat> I have already uh, been messing around uh, with the face a few times, but uh, my computer, no, my Sims game decided to crash like constantly, like three or four times. And I've been like halfway doing through doing the face. And like the very first time I tried it, it looked really good. Um, I think I've solved the problem now, but I really, I really thought I'd solved the problem last time, so I can't <laughs> be entirely sure. So this video you may never see, because it might not ever come out. If it doesn't, then yeah, RIP. But <laughs> I'm just going to get on with it. Uh, like, her face looks nothing like Aurora. Like, I have not, you know, this, this isn't a, uh, this isn't Aurora yet. This is what just popped up as I made the sim. The only thing I have done though is the cheekbones and the chin and the jaw. I thought I would just get that started because I needed to mess around a bit to see if it would crash. So I did that already. So I'm not going to do change that until I need to tweak stuff at the end. But I am going to do these eyebrows. You can't get like white eyebrows. I don't like the fullness of these, like the just how cartoony they look. So I think I'm going to go down here and see if I got a nice eyebrow. Like that's quite good, but it's a little bit pink and I don't know about that. That's not really Aurora, is it? She hasn't got pink eyebrows. This isn't bad. Obviously it's slightly more like ashy, but I think that's okay. I mean, Aurora's eyebrows are a lot more thin and dainty than this, but I think it's the best we're going to do, really. They are obviously a lot more fuller than Aurora's, but I don't know. Maybe we could change it at the end if we don't like it. Right, now I'm going to do the eyes. I wanted to look for a preset, which are these things here. They're called presets. And find one that has a heavy top eyelid because Aurora's got quite a lovely top eyelid and one that I look at and go, I would love to put makeup on that. <laughs> it's just like those are the type of eyelids that are like a makeup artist's dream. So I think we'll go with this preset, but Aurora's eyes from this corner to this corner are very much like the same level. So quite straight. And then, what makes that cool though, what's cool about that is that her top eyelid is really up and her bottom one is slightly down, giving her a very circular eye. Um, but it's a bit higher on the sides. Oh, that's pretty adorable actually. I like that. Let's give her blue eyes like she has and make them slightly bigger. Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? Um, yeah, did I mention that I'm doing this because I'm not feeling very well? Uh, yeah, I think I did, but I'm in bed with a hot water bottle feeling pretty sorry for myself, so. <laughs> Definitely didn't feel like being on camera or doing anything too intense. Um, so yeah right this is we're getting on to the nose now i'll use this as the preset because aurora's got a larger nose which i find absolutely adorable on her face it's just oh my goodness i absolutely love her nose she really just is beautiful okay so i just need to push that up a bit make it slightly less less wide um, the mass of her nose is pretty good. Need to get the bridge to be a bit wider. That might be okay. Something about it looks too... That... Is that good? And then push the tip out a bit. And then I might just raise it slightly because you can see the, the bottom of her nose like this bit quite easily. 
if that makes sense. Like it isn't like a hooked over nose. It's more of a, a upturned nose. Uh, that's not too bad. Let's like get those nostrils not to be so exposed now. Oh, and then we push the nostrils up too. Um, pull the nose down a bit, maybe. I don't know. Um, it's not looking that bad, is it? You know, I'm never going to get it perfect because. I don't think perfection could be done twice, but I am trying to do my best. <laughs> so that bit's more smoother in. She has got a little like nub in her nose, like a little whoop, like a tiny one. Really hard to do that on Sims. Yeah, it's lowered, so it's like two, ooh, 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 ooh. And then this bit comes out slightly more like that. And that goes, oh, I can't push it up in anymore. Maybe if I make the nose longer and then try. No, I can't really push that in anymore. Don't know why, but. Well, that's not that bad, is it? Um, I think that looks pretty good. Again, I'm feeling like the nostrils <gasps> yeah 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 we're doing that <laughs> sorry if you can hear my hand tapping um and clicking i'm using my laptop microphone to do this oh no now that looks suddenly strange mm, okay we're just gonna go with that otherwise i'm gonna get obsessed and it'll take forever uh yeah Okay, now the lips. Oh, I'm gonna save it very, very quickly because I am terrified of it suddenly breaking. Yeah, this video isn't gonna be like extremely entertaining because, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just making a sim, but, <laughs> but it, you know, I don't know. Some of you might enjoy it. I like watching videos like this uh, when I'm relaxing. Okay, so that's like a more heart-shaped top lip, but we just need to change. Oh, something about it. it's just not right because it's thin, but it needs to be. I need to push it out. <sighs> that's pretty good for the top lip. And then if we, yeah, 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 this is pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. I don't know, the bottom lip does is a little, uh, like, one million percent not right. <laughs> I got a really good one before, but I've just got so many presets that I don't remember where it was. Could this be? It's not very, di like, diamond-shaped here. Not diamond, sorry, it's not very heart-shaped here, like Aurora. But the bottom lip is really good. Because I had a slider that um, you could change like the, the pointiness up here. But I got rid of it thinking it might be causing damage to the game. I don't think it was, but I haven't put it back in so I can't really work with it anymore. Okay, so what I'm doing is putting on a different skin tone just to, because the original skin tone like that, look, that looks absolutely, it looks like she's like a million years old. I don't know, even know how it could look that bad. Also, if you hear any weird background noises, it's because I live in flats and they hate me. I think that is what we will do for the face shape. I think the side profile looks pretty good, honestly, um, especially when we get a different skin like uh like texture because like i said this texture just oh my god just doesn't really do the sims any justice so i'll try different ones that's quite cute but she doesn't have like these little dimply marks there so that's not quite accurate that's too mm, too much of a skin texture 
That, that makes her nose look like it has no definition whatsoever. I wonder if there's other versions. Oh my god. Maybe I could do this and find a nose texture as well that I've downloaded. I've got so many random textures and things. Oh no. No, no. Help us all. That looks awful. That does look cute though. I could probably find some like makeup that will make her nose look better. Oh. These are cute. <gasps> That's adorable. That's really good. Do you think? Do you think? Or did you think she looks a bit like not like Aurora? I think that's as close as we're going to get. Um, Aurora's ears. I must do the ears. Um, there's even ear presets here, but I don't think I can look through all the ears and know what, what to do. She's got super elf ears, hasn't she? I don't really know what I'm doing ear-wise. I might not <laughs> do the best job. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, oh, oh, that's pretty good. Once the makeup's done too, it's just going to look so much better. So I think I'm going to see if there's any eyelashes that will look nice on her. Aurora doesn't really wear mascara, like dark mascara. I've not seen her wear dark mascara, but she has got like brownish, no, like blondy brown eyelashes. Oh, something like that. Oh, <laughs> she looks so cute. I'm definitely going to put her in my game. Mm, maybe like that? Like, because they're not too extra then? Oh, or is that is that one more natural, do you think? Or that one? No. I like this one. I'm going to do that one. Get these sunglasses off your head, woman. You live in Norway, for goodness sake. <laughs> um, You know... I can say that because I live in England, which is also rainy uh, right the second, actually. So, yes. Okay, she does look really cute. Uh, oh, I don't know. I think she looks adorable. Um, okay, let's do the hair. Okay, now this is going to be a tricky part to try and find an Aurora style hair. Okay. Oh, that's not bad, is it? I mean, it's a little, what, like this at the back's a little, um, not quite Aurora. Well, actually, when she has those little, that short hair, the long extent, like the short hair on top of the long hair, it is slightly like that. It really is slightly like that. It's annoying that we don't have the like long hair bits as well. Um, let's keep going, but that's a definite maybe. Look at her little face. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> There's this one too. No, that does not look right whatsoever. Sorry, just getting comfortable in my sick bed. <laughs> um, no. That first one is definitely the one I'm thinking so far. That is cute as heck, but <laughs> not quite. That's really cute too, but she's got more straight hair, hasn't she? So, Aww, all these little fringes. I can't deal with how cute she looks. Oh my God, what? she's actually adorable. You're probably thinking, no, she looks terrible. No. <laughs> and I'm here like, yeah, she's perfect. Oh, look how adorable. That's the right colour. Well, it, like nearer the right colour. Oh my gosh, that's really cute too. It's not quite the fringe that Aurora has, but it's got that like freedom kind of feeling to it. 
but I don't know I think she needs the iconic fringe she actually does have there is a picture I'm looking at right now on my phone where her hair is actually like this we either compromise the color like have it a bit more yellow for this type of hairstyle or we have the one that was a bit more like swished to the side for a lighter color but quite I know and also this fringe like slants down and I know Aurora's doesn't do that that's cool with the pink as well um but I think really this is the best we're gonna get obviously you might be screaming and saying no go back go back to the other hairstyle that's also adorable if so then I truly apologize that is just so cute I don't know what it is about it but it's adorable okay um hmm where is that other one i'm going to have a little look at it again oh there's this too <gasps> that's really nice that's like a mixture of the two i don't know looks not quite that i think i'm gonna go with this i feel like it just really suits her and it's just got that like free feeling I think it's just the best idea. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I she doesn't really wear a lot of makeup, honestly. She she does like little bits here and there, but nothing like extravagant. Um, she's usually quite naked faced. Yeah, she just doesn't wear a lot. Whoa, I, I'm looking at a picture of her in 2014, and she's absolutely covered in makeup. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, she's like her doing it for, it's amazing makeup. Like extremely amazing, the beautiful picture, but it's so strange seeing Aurora with that much makeup on. Um, okay, so she's just got like little, I like her little, you know, red um, lines she does. Don't know if I'll have anything like that on here. But we will, we will figure something out. And even if we don't, we can just do something that almost feels like it could suit Aurora. I wish we had this, but like in red. This looks like an Aurora style, something that she would do, but I don't have it in red, and I feel like red would be the right colour for it. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> Just no. Oh, about something interesting. That's quite cute. What do you think? Is that a little bit weird, or is it cute? Hmm. I don't want anything too heavy because it just isn't her. Maybe that, and then I do like a... Ooh, that looks really nice. What do you think? I think that's not too crazy. So, there's some, con like, contour to give some definition I think that's not right though she normally stays quite pale so I don't want to add like a blush or anything looking at her pictures she doesn't really have a lot of colour in her face she's she stays one one uh, colour usually so I might just do something just to like shadow her face, like contour her face. Whoa, that's extreme. You know, like this, but like obviously not that dark. It gives her definition in the nose because that's what she was missing before. But I'm not sure, I kind of like it without the definition. Yeah, I don't know. We might try that for the cheeks and see if there's a nose thing.
I quite like that for the nose. Yeah, we're going to do that for the nose, I think. I don't like that there's no definition up here, though. You know? It is if I make it thinner, but that's just not what her nose looks like. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Um, I've seen some pictures of her with some lipstick on. Quite a subtle lipstick, but kind of pinky lip colour style. So it's not quite natural again. It needs to be a lot more subtle than that, I think. That's pretty good, but I need to make her lips uh, look less, you know, big in a way. Ugh, the top lip, it doesn't look right, but it's, it is more, it's shorter, but these little bits here on the sides aren't like that scooped in. There's not really much I can do about it. Yeah, that'll do. I mean, at this point, I'm not even sure if it really does look like a war or anything. <laughs> but again, then again, it is a Sims Aurora. Let's try and see what it looks like without the makeup again. I feel like it looked, uh, you know, about the eye stuff. Like, I think that looks more like Aurora, I have to say. I need to bring those in. Oh, that's a bit better. Do I change the lips though, once again? I think I got the lips. I mean, yeah, I think that's the best I'm gonna get with the lips. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring those nostrils up a bit though. Just am. Um, maybe bring the nose up altogether. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's really good. It's interesting her moving around. <laughs> okay, now let's find her an outfit. She has got many looks. I have to admit, I'm just looking at some on Google. Um, yeah, I think I'm not going to get anything exact, but I do think I might just go for like the vibe. It's very artistic, very hippie, uh, outlandish. She's like a walking art piece really, isn't she? I wonder if I've got anything that's interesting here that Aurora, like the sort of thing that Aurora would wear. This is quite interesting. For some reason, I can see her wearing something like this. Or is that not what she would wear? Am I being crazy? Is it maybe too modern and less, like, flowy? I mean, I think it's got the idea. I just don't think it's got, like, the right, um, I don't know, projection. I don't know what the word would be. <laughs> just making stuff up. Let's keep looking. She likes wearing like kind of like crop top things with like sheer tops over the top. What about something like this? It's still, I don't know, it's still not quite though. This is pretty difficult. Some of these outfits are like extreme and things that Aurora would most certainly never wear. <laughs> That's really cute. I can imagine Aurora wearing something like this. <gasps> That's really cute. I think that Yeah, I think that's nice. And then I'll find like a long skirt. Maybe something like this. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Maybe something like this actually, but not not the top now. See now I can't I can't stand the top of that. That's quite Aurora. I think the skirt's good and now I can't stand the top. <laughs> this is difficult. 
Oh, this suits it. It's not it's not what I was looking for, but that does suit it and suit her. And like a green. Oh, I can't like that. I think I'm going to go with that. She doesn't always really wear shoes. <laughs> um, well, when she's performing, but I'm just trying to look at what type of shoes she might wear. Little like interesting shoes, little cloggy clog shoes. Let's see if there's a. Oh, that's quite good. Something like that, maybe? Might be something a bit better. She wears actually quite a lot of trainers, to be fair. Oh, trainers, oh, trainers. Where are you, trainers? I need to find some trainers that will look good with the outfit. Do -ba -do -ba -do. I don't know, all black boots maybe. Witchy boots here. <laughs> I think they're a bit too extreme for Aurora. Oh, they're good, just like some black boots, but I might do them a different color just to suit the theme. Maybe in green? Yeah, okay, let's do some jewelry. I'm not gonna do like long nails on her. Um, I think like a, something up the arm or some gloves. Why can't I do it on both arms? No, I want this and I want them on both arms. Is it meant to be a bandage? But she has got like kind of, she does wear like bandage bits on her arms. She wears things on her arms all the time. We need some arm things. I like that one and I can only wear one. That just doesn't look the same. <gasps> well, there's this. It's not quite Aurora. Like, it's not, it's not quite what I was looking for. No, no, I don't think I could. Oh, that's cool. A little sheer thing to go underneath. Um, no, actually. What about like a, oh no, that's really bad. <laughs> hate that. What if, should I just do one? I want both. Okay, I might do that. Ah, it's a bit annoying because I didn't really want there to be bits on the fingers. But, oh well. We can have like a bracelet thing. No. <laughs> oh, something like this. A blue one. Um, there's also this though that we could do. Oh, I think that's good. Yeah, something like that. This looks pretty good. Her like face and hair look lackluster now compared to the the outfit. Um. Uh, I think we'll go with that. Yeah, I think she's basically done, honestly. But I feel like I do want to add a bit of makeup now. Just looking at the whole outfit as, as, you know, what it looks like. I'm like, oh, I feel like there needs to be something there. Maybe just the green. No, not the green. Yeah, I like the orange. And I'll add this again. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. That makes her look like she's about to perform a big old show or do a music video. You know, it, it, it gives her something different. Um, yeah, that, I think that's the best I could do, really. Oh, she does have her ears pierced, so maybe I should do an earrings. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do that. Cool. Right, um, now let's do her voice oh I remember I turned her voice off I do apologize Aurora <laughs> I can't believe I've finally done this um absolutely not no I mean none of them sound like Aurora we're just gonna go with this 
because it's a bit difficult to find a good voice. <laughs> They're Sims, for goodness sake. Um, let's see. They can walk. She can walk like this, <laughs> like this. Definitely the opposite of Aurora. Aurora was swagger. A feminine walk? No. Um, tough walk? No. Goofy <laughs> walk? No. No. <laughs> That's her singing in bottles. Uh, under your spine. <laughs> I, I liked this one. Actually, that's just more like her. Um, okay. What's her aspiration? Because it could be musical genius, which, of course, she is. But there's more to her than that. I think we'll go with that and then do her traits. Oh, sorry. Mods making them do poses. Okay, um... You can have, well, she's definitely creative, but I've already got musical genius, so. Music lover. I kind of want to do something like, yeah, like green themed. These seems are happiest when living on a green street and continuously work towards making their environment more eco-friendly. I might do, that's good, but it's a bit like specific to one thing. I think loves the outdoors is good because then, um, it's just loving all of nature. Aww. Oh, she looks adorable. Okay. Um, what, what's another one? I think she would be good. She's a good person. Whoa. <laughs> and then maybe I do do creative. And because she's already got the musical genius, I might go with just creative then, because she does art as well, doesn't she? Oh, like it. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. Cool, I think we've we've got her ready. I mean, like I said before, it's not the perfect representation, but it would be kind of impossible to do that. Um, if someone's done it better, I would love to see. Um, but for now, that's it. Here's Aurora as a sim. <laughs> Yay, thank you for watching. This was definitely a way more relaxed video. Uh, very chill. I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd be surprised if you even got this far. I'll try and edit it and cut out a lot of the random, this is nice, and no, not this. I'll try and just get to the point with the video um, when editing. But I do hope you enjoyed and um, have a good day. And see you next time. Bye.